Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you my top five sneakers that are my personal favorite that are dropping this year, and hopefully show you and update you on what sneakers are actually dropping this year. Get your own opinions, you know. Let's get straight into it and let's run that intro. Yeah, be so bad, I wanna shoot, shoot, shoot like hoops while I'm riding in the coupe. I got what you want. Actually, let's get a little bit of a better background. Signed. Pretty cool. I think we're a bit better now. Got the Yeezys over there, the little bit of anesthetic stuff over there. All right, take the little sticker up here. How cool is that? But anyway, before we get in, thank you so much for 800 subscribers. It's going up daily, and I really do appreciate everyone who subscribes, and really hope you actually get something off this channel. So I've got my list of five. If you pause it quickly, you might be able to see all of them. But here we go, let's get straight into it. So as we hit number two on the honorable mentions, it is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 Geode. I don't really feel like the, the name suits it, more like a purple would sound better. But actually the thing that goes wrong with it, why it actually isn't in the top five, is because of the color. You know, on some pictures it's more purple, some more it's like a lightish gray with a little hint of purple, like metallic purple. But for me, I actually saw the yellow versions of these actually in a JD sitting, and that's probably why, because the color does not match how it should actually be. I don't know if Kanye is trying to make it how people love like neutral colors and then just adding a little bit of a pop. But for this, you know, the purple, I love the color purple, but, just doesn't pop enough if this was like a reasonable price like 360 no 380 in australia like that's just mad i would never pay that for this it was a bit more brighter and the price was a little bit lower these would have already been bought but kanye get those colors a little bit more brighter bro all right so for the last honorable mentions i'm actually really excited about this i'm only new into getting yeezys and for me back when these released it was way out of the budget and now here we go the yeezy v1 is back it's back. I do wish the pirate flax were here, but man, don't these look special, you know? You can see what they've actually come from, from being looking like this, to actually like this, the V2, you know? Dang, it's, it's changed a real lot, but, whoops, really fell off the chair. But yeah, this is a great shoe. It's not the best looking, but the only reason why I'd probably buy this is just for the, you know, you just have to have this. It's such a staple shoe where Kanye basically started with Adidas, Adidas, and, you know, the colorway you can't go wrong, with a little bit of red, but you can just see how simple it is compared to how they are now, even though that's basically the same, but just how it's curved and like the materials. But yeah, how good is it? It's back. Hopefully I can cop though. Adidas, come on, help your boy out, bro. Help your boy out. Let's get to the top five though. Here we go. Just saw something when I was getting onto my top five shoe. I did not know this shoe was dropping. This is one of my favorite Jordan 3s. Basically, if this wasn't a thing, I wouldn't like Jordan 3s this shoe and the UNCs, but man, aren't these a beauty? The laser orange, I believe they're called, dropping, I think, 2022, well, this year, later on, man, this could be my first, my first three right here, but damn, when were they gonna tell me they could've just missed out on a sale? But yeah, let's get on to the top five. All right, here we are, top five. Let's get straight into it. This shoe actually doesn't look like what the heck they're putting on here, but let me just pop up the photo. This shoe, I know a lot of people will hate this, but I just love the look of this. I reckon it's something completely different. And it's just something that when you're walking past, people go, damn, what are they? I've never seen that before. You know, like it's usually just a solid color or like three different colors, two, whatever. When you see a Jordan 4, but with this, it's like different. It's kind of like it's fake almost, you know? It just looks really cool in my opinion. And other than that, I think I might be slept on a tiny bit. So this is where I might just slide in and get it for nearly retail. So hopefully I'll be going to America in September and hopefully your boy can just slide in and get them for retail. And hopefully they'll go off in price. But anyway, this shoe is crazy cool. And I just love the purple, the pink, all of that. The galaxy theme looks amazing. Wouldn't be surprised if Jordan Brand hooks up NASA with these things. But anyway, on to four. All right, so for number four, it's actually not on the side again. It's actually a sneaker that dropped like, or not dropped. It got postponed from December and that. It was gonna drop on Air Max Day. It's an Air Max shoe. I love Air Max shoes. It's made by a famous rapper. I want a pair of this rapper's shoes. He's done collab with Nike and Jordan before. I've loved those collabs. 
and hopefully the hype beast don't take this away from me. Hopefully I can slide in and get this shoe as well. But it is the Travis Scott Air Max. This comes in two different colorways. Comment down below what colorway you would actually pick if Travis Scott's like, you know what? Or Nike brand's like, you know what? Well, what one do you want to take it home? I'd probably have to go for the yellow one, the full yellow. I love the backward swoosh. I love Travis Scott's backward swoosh, you know. I used to hate it, but it's just so nice now. You know, the shoe's so solid and it's so good how he's actually gone back to a little bit of Air Max shoes. Because those 270 reacts. I don't know what that guy was smoking that day. They are nasty, man. But yeah, off to number three. Comment down below which colorway you get as well. Yeah, one to three. All right guys, so this one, today this shoe actually got the release date done. And for some reason on this site, it's probably just too soon and they're probably uploading it as I'm doing this. But for now, it's the third time. I'll just have to show the photo. Yes, it's another Travis Scott shoe, you know. I love the Travis Scott thing. I'm, yeah, call me a hype beast for this one. All of a sudden, fam. But this shoe actually looks really good, you know. I've hopped onto the bandwagon straight away on this. And it's a low because I want to up my low game. Even though I have zero. But I'm trying to get a pair of lows. Them and the UNCs. But, um, lows. Even if you actually don't want it, you can easily resell it for a thousand. Like, after a couple of months, it comes out. It's a shoe that everybody just goes crazy over. Travis Scott, there's all the fans for that. All the Jordan brand fans, they clap together, you know. They love... The Jordan, Travis Scott kind of model collaborations. It's a shoe that you could easily resell, but for me, I'd love to add this to the collection. Hopefully in America, somehow I'll be able to pick them up. But let me know what you guys think. Which is your favorite Travis Scott shoe as well? But this shoe looks so nice, especially with Travis Scott's logo on the back with the red. On to number two. All right, so for this shoe, this shoe just looks so good. When I first saw it, I'm like, yeah, you know. But then I started to hear people talk about it, like a little bit of the vintage, like, talk about it, you know. And it kind of made me realize how good a shoe this actually is, you know. You have the court purples, you have the pine greens, you have the shadow backboards, but you don't really have a yellow shoe with black and looking this good. The yellow Jordans kind of just get shoved off all the time. Shout out to Vault Golds. That's my shoe right there. But with these, I kind of, you just kind of have to love this if you're a person that just likes yellow, you know? For me, yellow is, yellow is the boy. But um, this just looks so good. The color blocking on this is just, just as good as normal. The material on this is just absolutely perfect. And you know, it's just gonna get chopped up, you know? People are gonna go like this, like that, because there's no yellow Jordans except for the Vault Golds. People hate them though. But with these, this is like the first good yellow um, Jordan that people will actually really go for. So let's put the laptop away. People are gonna go for this, man. This is gonna go up like crazy. If you wanna resell, try and get for these. And your boy might have to hit you up because I think I might have to go for these, you know? I'm a yellow lover. Materials are great. There's nothing not to love about this shoe. So on a side note, get these shoes. You won't be sorry. It's a great shoe. On to number one. But thank you, Jordan Brand, for making a yellow shoe. Where yellow actually gets the love that it deserves, not just from me for a change, so thank you. But on to number one. All right, I'm gonna have to take you off the road for this one, because this sneaker, holy. I've wanted this sneaker back when I was 11 years old. That's like, what, six years ago? And they're finally coming back. They are finally coming back. And if you know my favorite model of shoe is the Yeezy 350 V2. And we think about all the Yeezys that have restocked. There's one that stayed away. It's the full black tints, the colorful stripe. It's one in the OG pairs in the V2. What one hasn't come out yet? A sneaker that is my grail. My grail sneaker that I don't care what price it is. Tommy's of his on shoes is buying this and our review is coming out. This shoe is, let's get back to the table. All right, that should be good. If you guys are new to this channel or don't watch the full length of my videos, you might not even know what my grail is. That's the hint, you know? That's the hint. It's just one of the best Yeezys, you know? In my opinion, it's the best Yeezy. And let's just get straight into it, you know? You guys Basically, my iPhone storage filled up, so I have to stop recording. It's a new day. So let's just get on to the main bit two days later. All right, guys, so we're back for the final part of the video. New day, new me. 
And when I mean new me, it's actually my birthday, turning 17 in an hour. The grey man stop over here, I'm trying to hit that 1k and to make fun content for you guys. But no more further ado, let's get on to the number one, which basically you probably clicked on for, straight into it. The number one sneaker that I'm looking forward to the most, but is the Yeezy 350 V2, cool red, also known as the Red Stripe. I love this sneaker so much. It's a sneaker that has just been the most, my most favorite for so many years. It's easy to keep clean and just with a little bit of color, as you guys know, I love the color on my sneakers. So, and plus Volt Red, I love the Volt Red. So it just looks really good. I really like the colorways on here. I like how simple it is, but it's also got a little bit of like your personality a bit. Now that they've got the blue stripe on, the red stripe, the Oreo, you know, they've all got all different colors. So it really just brings out what you like, what you don't like, you know. I like all of them and I bet I like them too too. Red Stripe's always been my favourite and I can't wait for this to come out because maybe a year ago I was thinking, dang, I need this shoe, but I'm not paying 2k for it. And when I heard it was re-releasing, it was a happy moment, but don't tell anyone, the re-release pairs are actually better than the OGs. It's great that I can actually say that my Grail sneaker I'm about to get, I'm gonna pay whatever price and it's actually in an upcoming sneaker release, which I am so pleased to be able to say. But, it's probably the best Yeezy as well. So, this is dropping later in, I think it's August, I could be wrong. Actually no, it might even be near Christmas time, which would be perfect for when you ask someone for Christmas, you know, but if you don't hit for retail, but I can't wait to cop it and just make a review. And also, one of my mates, JT, told me I should wear one dazzling blue pair and one of the core reds together. Oh, it looks so cool. That'll be my favorite sneaker that's releasing in 2022 thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys got new opinions on sneakers more info you didn't actually know or just you got like a little bit hyped up about some sneakers i talked about that's the aim for this video hope you guys really enjoyed as well hope i made today a little bit less boring a little bit more entertained thank you for 800 road to 1k see you later